Hello everyone, it's Friday the 9th of April, hope you've had a good week. And in news today we're talking about coins, specifically Krugerrands, the iconic Vanguard. Krugerrands produced by the South African Mint have a certain luster amongst metal investors due to their pervasiveness throughout the bull market of the 1970s. They were introduced in 1967 to promote gold exports from their burgeoning mining industry and enabled every South African to invest in gold apart from the British gold sovereigns. The South African Mint introduced the Krugerrands in 1967 as a 1.09 troy ounce unit, 33.93 grams. To improve durability, the coins contained 8.33% copper whilst maintaining a full troy ounce, 31 grams worth of gold. This level of purity is the same as the British gold sovereigns, known as the Crown Gold. The coin is legal tender in South Africa, which has exempted it from import taxes in many jurisdictions. The coin holds no face value, thus is traded based on the prevailing price of gold. The obverse depicts Paul Kruger, the Boer statesman and former president of the South African Republic, and the reverse sports the Springbok, a national animal. The coin's namesake is a blend of Kruger and the Rand, the national currency of South Africa. The recognizability and dependability of the coins made them an ideal investment vehicle for retail investors globally. They were so popular, in fact, that by 1980, the Krugerrand was already the default choice for gold coins, representing approximately 90% of all trade. The introduction of the coin coincided with the 1971 closing of the gold window and US citizens' newly reinstated right to own gold in 1974. By 1984, over 600 million US worth of the iconic coin were being exported to the US. The iconic Krugerrand was the first bullion coin produced by a national mint to introduce a distinctive national identity. The prominence the coin enjoys even today is due in part to this first mover's advantage. Prior to 1967, coins struck by the South African mint and the other British descended mint, mints produced gold sovereigns. In 1979, the Royal Canadian Mint introduced the gold maple leaf, the first 24 karat gold bullion coin. This was followed by the American Eagles produced by the US Mint in 1986 and the Australian Nugget in 1987. The alloy nature of the coin precludes it from being classified as investment grade bullion in Australia. As such, it attracts GST for Australian purchases. Shop for Krugerrands online by visiting us at ainsleybullion.com.au. And for any crypto products, please visit ainsleywealth.com.au. That's the news for this week, guys. Hope you enjoyed yourself and we'll see you again on Monday. Bye.